So we have our front view, our top view, and our side view, and that should match our drawing, our rough sketch, exactly. Because I've got all the measurements on here that I just transferred over into Inventor. Put them on these different faces right here. So now I'm going to use the Extrude tool. So remember, I've got three options. I've got Join, Cut, and Intersect. We're going to use this Intersect. So first thing I want to do is click the Extrude and then click my shape right here. Make sure it clicks the whole thing. And I want to Intersect and I, if, it defaults only going a little bit, so I want to change this distance to all, because then it will go all the way through, and hit OK. So now if I look at it from the front, that's what it'll look like. So now I want to go to extrude from my side view, and I see self interesting paths are invalid, so it's giving me an error, so I have to fix my side view. So let's come over here to Sketch 4, right click edit sketch so I want to see what is the problem here so I see if I highlight it all I've got some extra lines that I don't need so let's trim those So I'm just going to delete some of that stuff, Let's see if that'll work. Yep, so now it'll work. So I extrude, I just deleted lines I didn't need. So extrude, click my shape, intersect, distance to all. So now I have my side view and my front view. So the last thing is I need to do this top part. So extrude, click on my shape. Now you notice when I clicked on that, two things happen. One is I only did half of it. Also, it didn't give me my lines right here. So, we're going to have to go in and fix that one up as well. So that's this sketch 4. Right click, edit sketch. Oh, oh sorry. Sketch 3. Right click, edit sketch. So, again, I see I have all these extra lines here. Let's just delete those. Delete any lines we don't need. I don't need that one. Just highlighting that line and deleting it. Finish sketch. Now we extrude. Doesn't like those. Because I don't have a line all the way across here, I think. So sometimes you just have to trace over your lines. Still doesn't like it. Sketch 3, right click, edit sketch. Okay, so when I highlighted this whole thing, I see I've got these corners right here. This corner is not connected somehow. But that's not a problem if I right click. Just remake this line. I'm just going to delete this line, make my new line from that point to that point, that point to that point. Finish it. Now extrude. Now it's going to work. Okay. Intersect. There we go. So now I have my boat. So there's my front view, there's my side view, and there is my top view. So what you'll see is how all the different sides intersect with each other. So I could leave that as my boat, or I could get a little bit fancier with it and do some more modifications to it. So 
I could again start my drawing over here if I wanted to add something to it. Like say I wanted to make a little chair or something. I could extrude that up. Hit OK. You know, I can add other pieces to it. You can also use some of these other tools right here. So like the chamfer right here, what that'll do is that'll take a line and that will kind of cut that 45 degree on there. And I can change my distance, so let's say I want it bigger. So that will cut a nice 45 degree chamfer, what they call it. The fillet tool is similar. Instead of a straight line right here, it'll round it over. So if I use the fillet, click my line, gives me a nice little round over. I can also change the size of that and make it bigger. So where you might want those on your boat is maybe you want to chamfer some of these lines, just do any extra little things with it. But that is how you make the boat.